Ryan Osborne, I'm with Geico Honda Factory Connection Racing, and I'm the mechanic for Jordan Smith. Starting up top, Jordan runs uh, Pro Taper uh, bars, contour bars. We don't run the crossbar this year with this one. We're actually set up to run just this one. He likes to roll them back just a little bit, about a millimeter, millimeter and a half. A little bit of a relaxed feel. His lever's pretty neutral. He just likes them a little bit um, down. And then both of them, he likes them right on the close up on his fingertips. So clutch is ready to engage right when he kind of barely pulls it in and uh, brakes, same feel. Front and rear run Dunlop tires. KYB suspension this year, we switched over from Showa. Um, big change, it's the air fork. So far, all the guys are loving it. Uh, Jordan tends to run a really stiff front end, pretty aggressive, uh, so that kind of plays into his favor. Um, right now, we run the forks hubs with DID rims. Front rotor, we run a 270 from Moto Stuff. It's uh, complemented with another Honda factory part, which is the works brakes. Moving back, uh, we run a Yoshimura system. All our engines are done in-house by us. Uh, Kibi, Mick, and Jay, that, that's pretty much our engine department. They handle everything for us really well and then work very closely with Yosh on getting everything tuned up nicely. Another works part that we complement with the KYB suspension is the works clamps um, and various other chassis components that we, we get to use from them, which works out really great. Kind of follow back in, we've got a works rear brake pedal with um, foot pegs. Decor has, offers gripper seat covers. I think there's two or three different types that we run. Jordan just likes the ribs, just on top, not on the sides. And we run full Psycho plastics from the disc guard all the way back to the mud flapper fender, side panel, shrouds, number plate, front fender, etc. And we've got some, Jordan likes to squeeze his legs, he's got those nice big powerful legs and uh, we complement it with some custom radio braces that we had made. And we've also got some CV4 hoses there that we use to keep the bullet cooled down. Another component we love to run, we work really closely with Henson on keeping these things durable, especially under Jordan's clutch abuse. He likes to likes to get a little kick out of the corner, so he's constantly sitting there on that lever trying to get as much out of it as he can. We also run Pro Taper sprockets front and rear with uh, a complemented chain with them. He right now is on a 1351, but he kind of bounces back and forth sometimes between a 50 rear and a 51, but it all depends on the track layout and the dirt that we have going on. We've got some carbon bits that we use that are kind of custom to, to fit a little bit better, have some better wear characteristics that we have going on there on the rear chain guide. And then we've also got um, a work shifter, which is a little different length and a little different feel for him, um, as well as spline, kind of adjust the setup. And then another engine package thing we have is a Moto Tassinari. They have variable velocity stacks internally that we played with. And KB and those guys have got to figure out what works best for, for the engine package that we have for the guys. Another complimenting engine package is Twin Aware. We uh, work really closely with them on getting some really great filters and letting it breathe easy. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by, checking out the number 126 of Jordan Smith's bike here. Go ahead and look for him at an East Coast race coming to you, and hopefully we'll see you on the box.